hello guys welcome back so finally and design version 5.0 has been released so in this video we will see what's new in that version and how we can use that so to upgrade to version 5 they say please upgrade to the latest version of the 4.x first and then remove or the modify the latest APIs according to the warnings which we are getting on the consoles right so if we talk about the changes in the version 5 the first change is that uh, previously for their most of the components the border radius was 2 pixels now they have changed it to the 2 pixels 4 6 and 8 pixels for example the default button border radius has been changed from the 2 pixels to the 6 pixels so let's start seeing these changes as well so i have an empty react.js project that is using latest version of and design the process to integrate the latest version of the end design is the same as we did for the previous versions. I will add that video link in the i button as well as in the description below so that you can take a look. So we just need to add the npm install, save and nd and it will install the latest version of end design that is the 5.0.0. And I also have installed the end design icons as well. I will add the link of that video as well in the uh, i button as well as in the description so that you can take a look. Right. So let's import the button component from end design and start using it so we can say and design 5.0 button right and if we save it and go to the ui as you go so it has added the button and we can use its props as well like uh, the type is maybe primary as you go and let's inspect it and see what it is what's the border radius right now so if we go to the button and see its css so here we see the border radius has been changed to the six pixels right so what they are saying here right the second change they have made is, is the primary color is changed from this value to this one one six double seven double f and let's quickly see that as well so if we go, go to the background color it's one six double seven double f right this one right and then they have made some optimizations on different components and then there are a major change on the styling so they have removed the less styling and they have adopted the css in js styling so for that let's go to their and design css in js github page so here it is so this is a component level css in js solution used for and design and it's a subset of uh, emotion so if we go to the emotion so it's similar to what we have uh, in the styled component like we had a uh, styling the in you can say the inline styling of to the components so now instead of the importing the style of the end design as a whole so we do not need to import that so thus you can say the styling has been embedded into the individual components right so if we go to our projects you see i have imported only the app dots css and if we go to the app.css there is only a single class dot app that i have applied to the the parent div and it's just uh, you can say display flex and centering all of the elements and its height and width is uh, fully window right and previously we were impo importing the end design styling here but now there is no need to import that right because they have ad adopted the css in js right and using this approach uh, we can do a uh, dynamic theming as well i am creating a video on that as well please stay tuned for that and then they have made some changes in their path so the lib has been removed from uh, some of the path right and then there are change in the time or the date library previously they were using the moment.js but now it has been replaced with the day.js so let's quickly see that as well so let's add a date picker and save it and you can select it is the same as uh, it was before and if we go to the on change and here you see uh, the value is now a uh, day js object instead of the moment which was previously right and if we console it console dot log the value and if you know i change it to something else to go to the console so this is how it looks like right for more information on the day.js library here it is the github link so they have multiple functions to format the date and also to manipulate date 
to add or subtract different dates i will add its link in the description below so that you can take a look the next change is that uh, because they are now using the css and js so they have removed the pebble plugin import that we previously used uh, for doing the theming and there is a major change that now the ie browser is uh, no more supported that is because the ie has been already sunset and then there are changes on the class name apis so previously on some of the components like the auto complete select date picker etc so they were using different class names like the pop class name drop down class name or the wrapper class name so they have unified that to a, a pop class name so like if uh, previously for the select component we were using the drop down class name we will be replacing it the to the uh, pop up class name and it will start behaving the same right and then there are some changes on the prop levels like on the some of the components uh, like the drawer the model uh, we used to have the visible prop to make that pop up visible but now they have changed to the open prop for all of these right so if we go to the project and add the model component and here if we say the visible so it's a no strike through so it's saying it's deprecated please use open instead right so we can use the uh, open and its value will be same as true and false that we were using for the visible prop right and similarly for the table filter drop down visible has been changed to the filter drop down open and similarly so there are some changes on the other components as well like the notification they say that uh, the static methods of other notifications will now have only one instance and if we need uh, different configurations we can use the use notification hook to change the properties like the max count top bottom etc and same there are changes for uh, some of the props to make it consistent and then there are some hierarchy level changes uh, like previously we were using the page header comment input and button from the end design and now they have uh, moved the comment under the compatible and the page header under under the pro layout and rest of the, these are in the uh, end design so suppose if previously we were using the comment and importing from nd and if we got an error uh, we can import that from the compatible and we'll start working right and also there was a component back top that has been deprecated and it has been merged to the float button this float button is a new component introduced in the 5.0.0 i'm creating a video on that as well see you there so we already saw that how to upgrade it we just need to install the latest version of the end design and just start using it and of course if we encounter any problems we can directly go to the their github issues link and uh, give them the feedback right so apart from the improvements in the existing components they have introduced a few more components as well like they have introduced the float button so we can show the float button on any of the page and even we can show the menu uh, on click of that and also i stated that they have moved the back top button into the float button so here you go and the second component they have introduced is the tour that we can call it uh, the intro tutorial that we usually show to the user which come to our website very first time so it looks like something like we say that this is your first step then go to the next then you will do this action go next then you will do this action and finish it right and very excited to see how the new components works stay tuned by subscribing to my channel see you in the next videos thank you